Every year, millions of Muslims from all over the world make a pilgrimage or Hajj to Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam and is required of all Muslims who are able to make the trip. With the current revolutions and other uprisings in the Muslim world, many are wondering what this year's Hajj will be like. Almost every year, hundreds are killed in stampedes and in the deadliest incidents, thousands have been killed. Muslims make this pilgrimage to Mecca for several reasons. Their ultimate goal is to seek forgiveness of sins. The desire to have sins forgiven by God runs deep in all our hearts. Muhammad said that if people perform the Hajj correctly, they will be free from all their sins as if they were born anew. For some Muslims, they will finish the pilgrimage in three days. For others, it might take longer. As the pilgrims approach Mecca, many of them are already dressed in white. They will stop at one of the designated areas to shower. Now they are entering into a state of devotion and purity. The sound of Islamic chanting echoes over the land. Many will visit the Grand Mosque for the first time and then finish the day by traveling to Mina, where an enormous tent city houses them. Here they will pray, read the Quran and rest for the next day. Pray for the Muslim pilgrims to have revelations of Jesus. Tomorrow is the biggest day of the Hajj. As dawn comes, pilgrims travel to the plain of Arafat. Here the pilgrims spend the entire day standing or sitting near the Mount of Mercy, asking Allah for forgiveness. This is the day many Muslims long for, seeking God for the forgiveness of their sins, allowing a hope of entrance into the eternal life. But... The Bible recalls that John the Baptist said about Jesus, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John 1, 29. John tells us that it's all about God's Son. Forgiveness of sins and eternal life is through Jesus. Pray that the pilgrims will acknowledge that only Jesus can make them pure with new hearts that are forgiven of all sins because of His work on the cross. As they leave Mount Arafat, they also start to collect small stones for tomorrow. At sunrise, pilgrims walk to Mina. Here they throw stones at pillars that represent the temptations of Satan. Muslims believe Abraham was tempted by Satan to not sacrifice his son. After casting the stones, most pilgrims slaughter an animal. This is a symbolic act that shows their willingness to part with something that is precious to them, just as Abraham was prepared to sacrifice his son at God's command. For Abraham, God provided a sheep to take his son's place. The Bible says, God loved his son and gave his son, Jesus, so we all might have eternal life. Today in Mecca and around the Muslim world, sheep, goats and other animals will be slaughtered. This is called the festival of the sacrifice. Muslims reject Jesus as the slain Lamb of God. Pray that Muslims will understand that Jesus is the promised Lamb that takes away the sins of the world. Pray that they would understand that God spared Abraham's son, but only because God the Father did not spare the life of his son, Jesus. We deserve death for our sins, but Jesus died in our place like a sacrificial animal so that we could be set free to live with him forever. As the main Hajj is coming to a close, pilgrims are off to the Grand Mosque and circle around the Kaaba seven times. The pilgrims also walk seven times between two small hills near the Grand Mosque. This is done in remembrance of the plight of Abraham's wife Hagar, and her son, Ishmael, who desperately thirsted for water in the desert before God showed her a well full of water. As Jesus talks with a Samaritan woman, he talks with her about living water. Jesus declares, I who speak to you am he, the one who has living water. Pray that all Muslims would thirst and find the living water of Jesus. At this website, you can find a three-day prayer guide to help focus your prayers. Please print it off and pray. May God reveal himself to the followers of Islam, and may they begin the pilgrimage of following Jesus.
In John 14 verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Please continue to pray for Muslims all over the world. Ask that they will come to the Father through Jesus.